Three Chimneys Farm in Kentucky is 850 acres of racehorse history and considered one of the worldwide leaders in the thoroughbred breeding industry, thanks to great champions like 2017 Horse of the Year, Gunrunner. So when you breed them, do you, do you have them all, all prettied up? We do, we have them all prettied up for their dates, yes. Yeah, so this is Gunrunner. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. He's the second richest racehorse in North American history. Which is just unbelievable. Won almost $16 million <laughs> at the racetrack, yeah. So pretty amazing, the, his transition, because he raced in um, January 2018 and then retired and was in the breeding shed in February. So oh my goodness. Most, a lot of times we have months to try to get these horses acclimated to being here and their new careers. But he raced in January. The next day, we put him on an airplane. We flew from Florida up here with him and gave him three days off. And then the fourth day, we introduced him to his new job in that room right over there. Oh, and um, he right. took to that just as good as he did to the racetrack, thank goodness. So he uh, bred 171 mares last year. Wow. So he was a busy boy and liked his job and was very fertile. So <laughs> we didn't see those mares come back very often. But he's an amazing animal. That's very just, smart. So, I mean, does that really speak to, to truly, I mean, how, how unique he is, where he could go from racing to here in such a short period of time and just really just roll with it? Yeah, never missed a beat, never, and very smart. You know, sometimes the mares are a little excited when they get here and they jump around, and a lot of stallions get scared or back up or want to go, and he would always just step back quietly and wait till they settle down and then go and do his job. I mean, he's very smart. It'll be so exciting to see what his offspring do. I bet. We haven't had any born yet. Right. So we are um, anxiously awaiting the first baby so we can see. Them. And do you guys have um, some mares that are bred to him here on, on the do, premise? We do, we do. We're not, our mares aren't due until a little later, but, okay. but we're anxiously awaiting that first gun runner foal. And unfortunately we had to turn a lot of mares down. So uh, I, I bet with someone yeah. as popular as him. Yeah, he was. Uh, he can be a little picky. He, yeah, <laughs> we can be a little picky for him. <laughs> you want a petty? Yes. Come on. How you doing? Hi, buddy. Oh, he just has the prettiest coat color. He's beautiful, isn't he? Yeah. 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 Thoroughbreds are just amazing because they're still just so, they're the bodies of athletes. They are. So yeah. athletic. Yeah. With a farm full of young stallions, Sandy says this is a very exciting time to be working at Three Chimneys. With these stallions, the future looks bright. The barn now basically is a lot of young horses. When Mr. Toriaba bought the farm, he really brought in a lot of young, fantastic bloodlines. So we're basically starting over again. It's kind of a rebirth for us. And our youngest horses um, just have two retired this year, and then we'll take charge and strong mandate to have three-year-olds this year. So we're just getting started. Standing next to Gunrunner is a moment I will never forget. From the stallions, to the stories, to the custom coffee cups. My visit to Three Chimneys Farm has been a blast. Thanks for watching and see you at the racetrack.